here with Alessandra Ruiz, and she competed on March 17th at the State Powerlifting Meet in Waco, Texas. Moni, what was your experience? This is your last state meet. Um, senior year, it was definitely one for the books. Um, I gained a lot of new sisters throughout this season, and um, a great new coach. Um, it was it was kind of hard to get used to because I don't adjust well to change, but the season actually was like really successful. Like I'm so grateful for it. Um, the state meet, uh, I went in in second, um, a course from last year. So my goal was just to either get second or possibly get first. And like, um, I just didn't want to get anything less than that because I didn't want to come home like that. But um, yeah, so it was pretty awesome and um, kind of sad because I'm going to miss it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like a great experience. And there y'all have it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here today at the old Mary Harper Middle School. As you can see it behind me, it is being torn down, which is very quite sad. Um, but this represents a lot of things to for Dilly. Um, this, a lot of great memories here that will not be forgotten. And this is representing to the future of Dilly and D Dilly ISD. Ms. Starnes, what would you like to say to your English 1 and 2 start test? I would like to wish all of them the best of luck. I know they have the skills to pass this test, and I wish them the very best. Good luck to all the star students. Try your best, do your hardest, and good luck. Here at Mr. Van Damme, what do you have to say to the English 1 and 2 students? I'm um, super excited for them. A lot of students are going to pass this year. I know everybody's been working really hard. I think everybody's going to be super well, so good luck, everyone. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Miss Matthew, what would you like to say to the students taking the English one to start that next week? I'd say good luck. You know what? They know what to do. They can do it. I have confidence they're going to be very successful. So use the strategies. Take your time. Write good essays. You guys got this thing. You can do it and pass the star and knock it out. Right. We have faith in you. Good luck. Good luck. So tomorrow is a star test. Ms. Bradshaw, how do you feel about the students taking this test? I think they're really prepared and I think they're going to do good. And good luck to everybody taking the English 1 tomorrow and everyone taking the English 2 on Thursday. Good luck to all the students taking the English 1 and 2 star tests. Here with Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> what are your plans after high school? I'm going to enlist into the U.S. Army. We're going to have a U.S. soldier, guys. <laughs> yeah. Demetrius, you're a senior. How do you feel about graduating? Pretty excited. Um, it's coming to an end. Yeah, I mean, my last last couple years is pretty good, so I'm kind of sick. That's why I sound like this. What are your plans after high school? Uh, I'm going to, to Texas A&M, uh, San Antonio for nursing and EMT. Nice. And good luck. I uh, appreciate it. <laughs> Students, the prices for senior ads are in the hallways. Please come see Ms. Bradshaw if you'd like a page on the yearbook. Hurry fast. Start testing for English 1 and 2 are on the 10th and 12th. Make sure you attend these days. It's very, very important. <laughs> Congratulations to the golf team who placed second in district and will be moving on to regionals. Trouts for the rules in Snow White are on Thursday and the actual play is on the 14th and 15th of May. All rules are still open. All right. This week, Friday, 13th, 2018, is the end of the fifth, six weeks. We're almost done with school. Make sure any missings are turned in past the six weeks. Softball is away in San Diego, and baseball is here at home on Friday against Heavenville. And that's all for this week, DHS. I'm Skylar Bracha, and I'll see you next week.